Hello everyone. That's right. It's time for more Spectrum fun. So, um, the, we are going to continue going through the games that we received from um, O'Brien's Retro and Vintage way back when. Uh, going to be starting with something that's not a game at all. This is the Computer Cookbook and Menu Planner by Ian Hoare. Who are something? He looks like he looks like a good guy. All right. So now I have the complete Toset collection for the Spectrum. So I should be able to find this. I hope. Um, going to search for. Cook book. Oh yeah, here we go. Your options. Want an Italian dinner or a French one? Want to keep the price down? Or don't you have much time? All sort recipes in any of the four categories. Huh, okay. Seems neat. Hey Paul! Pixels, welcome back. All right. This sounds good. I'm already excited. Let's do it. Okay. So let's sort by categories. Country, price, simplicity, and time. Let's sort them by country. I'm interested in some British cooking. Give me England. Okay. Which of the sections would you like to examine all? Oh. One thing I left on in my last video was a stupid cursor. Let me make sure that that is not present anymore. Okay. I'm telling you, I love the old rubber key specky. Um, you know, and all it's and all it's it's so compact. You know, it's so tiny, um, and it's so light. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's almost useless to me in the U.S. without a proper uh, PAL monitor. I guess I could do the dongle, the dongle life, and and it's got the composite. We've got one with a composite mod, so I'd have to go composite to HDMI. Maybe that would work, and then go from there. But and then it would be on a flat screen, which would ruin the CRT goodness of the uh, spectrum anyway. So spectacular it is. Best twenty bucks I've ever spent on this emulator. Retro Man Cave, what's going on, man? We are taking a look at the computer cookbook by Bug Bites, Bug Bites Software. Okay, so which of the sections would you like to examine? Well. Maybe we should look at some starters. Okay. Avocados with crab, cream and mushroom soup, kipper pate. How much pate did you guys eat growing up in the great country of Great Britain? Because I can tell you here in the States, pate ain't really a thing. Okay. Um, press space to leave this section or any other key to look again. Well, okay, maybe we need to leave this section. Okay, let's look at our store cupboard. Okay. Spread, eh? <laughs> I guess it just depends, it depends. You know, we always called it the ZX Spectrum, but ever since uh, we started doing the show, I've slipped into the British correct ZX, uh, just because it's that's how everybody says it, really. And I figure this computer is a UK computer. You need to say the letter like they say it in the UK. Okay. What do we want to look at here? Maybe we should look at um, beef, pork, lamb, and veal. Okay. 
So I guess what they're saying is that if you have some beef mints in your cupboard, I guess you wouldn't keep that in your cupboard, in your refrigerator, in your ice box, and you want to find a recipe to go with it, you'd say A. Yeah. And let's look at main courses. Actually, let's see if there's any beef mince desserts. Okay, that's strangely comforting. <laughs> okay, we're gonna quit that. All right, let's go um, back to the cupboard. Let's pick the, pick the beef mince again. Okay, this time we're gonna go with main courses. What? Okay, I must be going about this the wrong way. Let's list recipes. Main courses. Okay. Let's find something that we might want to eat. Chicken saute bear, bear C? Is that real? B-E-R-C-Y? Is that a thing? Set X. I like that, Edvin. <laughs> Pheasant Normandy sounds pretty good. So I guess these are all okay. What I want to do is I just want to look at the British stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna press space to leave the section. Then we're going to sort by category: country, England, mains. Okay. So unfortunately, what you can't do from this screen is look at the recipes. Why you would not have this set up in this way, I have no idea, but it's like you just have to remember that these are our British dishes. And then when we go back, we, we can look at it. So I'm really curious about what makes a lamb colonial. So we're gonna go back to the, rec the recipe list and then go to mains and then the cl lamb colonial. Why do I not see it anymore? Um, is there any other key to look again? Hmm, maybe that's an expansion disk. Let's look at the... Uh, <laughs> F for Colonial Lamb. Oh yeah, there it is, sorry. I neglected to look in alphabetical order. That was my first mistake. Okay, here we go, F. What? No, you don't understand. I want to look at F. What am I doing wrong here? Oh. Hmm. Let's consult the highly detailed instructions. <laughs> Colonial lamb struck out on its own. The empire was too poor to support it. Okay. All the programs sold as computer cookery. This documentation are... Yes, we know that. Okay, the store cupboard has lists of all the ingredients used in these recipes. So, yeah, that that's crazy. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, sorry. Um, I want to go. Oh. The stream still has the same name as the last one. Um, it shouldn't be. It should be changed. Um, I did change it, but I guess something happened. So I don't know what happened, but the stream has reverted. You're right. So thank you. I will change that to Boat Plays Spectrum Games. Okay, and hopefully that will stick. I think I didn't save my changes somehow. Which it saves changes automatically, I'm not sure. I hate to break away from that hot action, guys. Okay, don't worry. We're going back. I gotta figure out how to get back to the main thing. 
Okay, press, okay, we're back. Now, we tried, okay, list recipes is just four. Recipe details, three. That's what we want, I bet. And then M, and then F. There we go, perfect. Okay, so colonial lamb. It costs three pounds for all of these ingredients. Something tells me it would cost rather more these days. Um, let's see, it serves three, and what do we think that four means? Um, kind of looks like a pot, so maybe it's like four hours of cooking time. What do we think? I think that's true. You need four pans. Ah, I like the way you think, Necronom. <laughs> <laughs> Lafarius, welcome. Matthew Perron, hello, Joseph. Sorry, I was caught up in the action here of um, the computer cookbook, uh, and I, 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 di I didn't notice you joined us. Okay, so this is the list of ingredients, but does it tell you anything about how to make this dish? Press space to look, any other key to look again. Okay. So this is just going to give us the same thing, right? Okay. So that gives us the recipes, the cupboard. So this doesn't actually teach you how to make the dish. It just lists the ingredients. That's lame. That's awful. Why would you have a... This is a computer cookbook that does not instruct you it does not instruct you on how to make the food. Make sure if this is brief details. I just want to. I want to make sure the ingredients used in these recipes. Okay. Time taken in cooking preparation, the difficulty and cost. Okay, well, let's look at the wine selection. Okay, so let's pretend like we need a starter wine for our appetizers here. Okay, so what uh, what is our favorite starter here? Uh, chat, what do we want to? What do we want to cook here? What do you have memories from your youth, when you're at your parents' dinner parties and you're like, "Father, the sole au vin blanc is a little bit overdone," or maybe it was the Whitling a la ver verduette. I don't even want to know what that thing is over the A. That's no good. All right. We're going to go with a little bit of, oh, scampi. No conventions. Bam. First choice would be, or white thou. Okay. Okay, the lace. Hmm. I would. I, I don't need to print that out. That's okay. Um, so yeah, this is the computer cookbook, in which it does not show you how to cook the food. I mean, seriously, have you ever seen a cookbook? It gives you a list of ingredients. It's like the freaking technical challenge on British Bake Off. You gotta. I, no, it's even worse. It's even worse. Paul Hollywood would scoff at this. It's no good. It's no good. Recipe details, three. Okay, then let's go mains. Okay, and O. So he gives you the list of ingredients. Now, there's nothing else in this that says, okay, this is a good first step, but you know, there's no steps. You have no other option but to leave this section or any other key to look again. But you can't even print this out. The only thing you can print out is the wine pairing. You don't get an option to print anything else. Yeah. Now, there is another 
there there is another <laughs> just like star wars there is another computer cookbook piece of software we're going to take a look at it real quick i do not have the physical copy of this but i'm curious now if maybe they improved upon this or maybe this is just this is just the menu planner okay i see that now here in the right there it says menu planner so I think that this was a three cassette um, dealio. Oh yeah, it says right here. Uh, comes in two cassettes, one for recipes and another for menu planner. So that makes sense. So the other one actually has the recipe. So let's look at that. Okay, so this is the recipe section. So once we've, we've prepared our menu, we've purchased our ingredients, now it's time to actually do the cooking, okay? So, um, why don't we take a look, go right for the main courses. Please, please, please show me the colonial pork. The colonial lamb, there it is, it's F, it's the same letter it always was. All right, here we go. How many? Well, let's see how many we've got. We've got Retro Man Cave, Paul H., Matthew Perron, Lafarius, Necronom, Joseph H. And we got six of us, plus me, seven. Imperial metric units, like you even need to ask. I. Okay. So we need a five pound leg of lamb, sliced old carrots. Seems gross. Some thinly sliced onions, parsley. Okay. All right, uh, I don't need the hard copy. Thank you. Now, are they gonna give us any other instructions? Let's find out. Oh yeah, okay. Mix the last eight ingredients and stuff. Leg happy. So guys, this is something that, this was the promise, right? This was the promise that the people selling the computer made to your mothers. They were like, you'll be able to organize your recipes. Your kid will be able to do their homework. Don't worry about the games. They, they probably won't play games all the time on it and take it up to their room. You'll be able to organize your business cards and all of your address book and all this stuff. So, you know, I just wonder how many copies of the computer cookbook were actually sold. Um, because it's not a bad way to cook if you happen to have your computer in your kitchen on your countertop. I don't know about that. Of course, being able to print is nice. So, um, plus press flashing number for hints. Let's see what hints we've got here. Ooh, okay. Any letter key to continue? No. Okay. So, yeah, this has been the computer cookbook i feel better now i only received and i think i got this from o'brien's retro and vintage i only received the um the menu planner but with the recipes this was the one two punch for all of your kitchen related needs so yeah pretty neat i like it thanks o'brien's okay we're gonna move on though yeah, I mean, the, the, the computer itself, if it somehow had a matching cute flat screen panel, <laughs> like an iPad yet to be invented, it would have been great. But like, uh, like Necromom said, most people weren't about to haul their only TV that they probably had in their house to, uh, to their kitchen. And um, not everybody had these big gourmet kitchens that are all the rage either. Okay, up next... We've got Sinclair Spectrum. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll let it be a surprise. So here we go. Um, yeah, books are great um, for 
this, this sort of thing. Even now, you know, I'll try and, and cook off my phone. The screen will go to sleep all the time and like I'll have stuff on my hands and I'm trying to like swipe and it's like, it's making my phone all gross. There's, you just can't beat a book where you lay it flat, you see everything on the two page spread and you're good to go.